so in this video I'm going to give you a demo of AL3 parser product from WinsureTech that you can extract you, you can use on a server on a machine if you don't want to use our rest API so in this product you what you will get is a zip file and a license key you have to extract that zip file into a folder like I have already done that here and you will get these uh, executable files AL3 parser AL3 parser license Initially, you have to open the command line window. You have to go to uh, that particular folder where you have extracted it and uh, you have to run L3 parser uh, license command and you have to give the license key, click enter and the license key will be activated. But uh, it's already in use. So my key is already activated. I need to disconnect it first to give you the demo. So let me disconnect it and uh, then after that I can connect it again you can if you have to move to another server another folder you need to disconnect your license key from the older location and then you can reconnect from the new location and uh, to connect you just have to give uh, AL3 parser license command with the license key so the key is activated now the product can be used now to convert the files AL3 parser will be used this is an executable file you can uh, this product is supported on windows ubuntu and uh, red hat linux so the command syntax is same only the file separator will be different according to your operating system like uh, i'm on windows i'm giving this time on windows l3 parser and then we have to uh, select uh, we have to give the path to the file l3 file like i have a file here Sorry, have one more here. That's right. file, and uh, I have to give an output format with OF flag. Output format is equal to AMS underscore map. We support multiple JSON formats. AMS map is one such JSON format and we also support a couple of xml formats and excel pdf and a csv format as well as output and uh, ams map will is the simplest format that will give you key value pair there are other json formats which will give you more detail like the data type of the element or if it is a currency or date or things like those and uh, uh, yeah that's all so you have to enter click enter it will generate an output file in AMS map output format. And what will happen is initially you will not have this format, uh, this folder AL3 output. So the product will create that for you. I am using this product on my machine. So I already have that. And uh, you see this file is created. Uh, oh, sorry, this is the file which is created uh, just now. And it is 286 KB. The reason is that uh, by default, all the AL3 elements will appear in the output even if they don't have value. So you will get, get the keys, all the keys, even if there is no value. And uh, if you want to get only those keys which have some value, then you have you can give a flag omit blanks, OB is equal to yes. And you will see that it will create a smaller file in size because now only those elements will appear which have uh, data not all the keys because AL3 has hundreds of elements so you may not like to get very large outputs so let me uh, wait for that and then I will yeah so this is a 41 KB file let me open this file uh, both of them and I'll show you what is the difference this is the bigger file and you can see that uh, we have uh, basic insured information here, insured's name, although company ID for insured, agency ID, legal entity code are blank, but they are still there. Those elements are there. That's why the size of the file is big. And this, in this file, you will see that only those keys appear which have values. That is why the file size is smaller here you have the insured's name only and then policy number company code line of business autopy so you get only those uh, 
keys which have values and further on this uh, like billing method code is p so you don't know what is p this is a chord coded value and uh, pair code is in pair code is in so you don't know what is in you want to expand that so we have another flag called replace codes rc is equal to yes you enter that and then if you will look at the output uh, it takes a few seconds it depends on the file size input file size and also the output file size and uh, if you want to put it on a server then you will need a good machine uh, and then you can also run it as a batch process like some of our clients are doing uh, here in this output let's go back to the basic insured information uh, like here so you see the company billing method code is now company policy build instead of p and pair code was in which is expanded to insured so you can expand the value expand the codes and uh, so the, this makes it uh, simpler for you to process data and then apart from that let me show you the output for a couple of other formats like if you want to use xml then uh, in the xml format this will be a slightly bigger file because you know that in xml there is starting tag closing tag which makes the size bigger it's 541 kb and uh, one more thing is because xml gives you more data i mean we have another format here json instead of ams map if you give json format json as output format then you will see you will get a bigger file but the good thing about this format is it gives you more details like uh, you will see in a in a moment i'll show you the output for xml and json formats xml is similar to json it's exactly the same only it's in xml format <clears throat> in json format uh, in AMS, you are getting only the key name and value. But in JSON format, you get a lot of detail. You get the element ID, which is unique. And you get the element title, which is the key here. And uh, <coughs> sorry. And you get the group name and element uh, number. And uh, you see here, uh, type description, alphanumeric. So it is alphanumeric and uh, value is here instead of value as the uh, here instead of that it the value is in its its value tag value key and uh, for the coded values the good thing about this json format is that it gives you output of both uh, the code itself and the description as well like you see here nstd was the actual value which is the code a code coded class description tells you and its description is given here non-standard automobile so you get the description as well as the value and you get the group name as well if you are familiar with al3 file then there are you know that there are groups and groups have elements so here you get the group name also and uh, this is the element name and th exactly the same output is given by XML in XML format. You see, it's the same. It's the same, just like JSON. Only thing is that uh, it's in XML format instead of JSON format. Everything else is same. Uh, now, apart from that, we have other formats. Excel, for example. And I'll, I'll open, and I already have an xml Excel file opened for the output it's good looking it's good for uh, any managers to look at the data or your programmers if you, they just have to look at the data they can use it and you see the key value pairs and you uh, get the data in this format one alt file can have multiple transactions so you get data of all the transactions transaction one transaction two all of that 
So in this way, you can see you can use this product with any programming language because it's just an executable file, and you, you can hook it to your Java program, .NET, Python, Node.js, any language, right? Uh, yeah. In case of any question, we are here to help. Uh, apart from the demo of this product, we also have another product which we call as WinSureTech AL3 Viewer. WinSureTech AL3 Viewer will be good if you want to uh, visually see an AL3 file, and you uh, you know you can just click open, and you open the AL3 file. It will be open for you. You can see all the groups here, and you see. Uh, you know group elements here all the values like this is the policy number and line of business code this is the title you see here and uh, this is the description coming from accord database accord system and then uh, you can also see the json view here this this product is to show it visually to you it's not for connecting to your uh, program it's for your programmers if they have to see the data or for managers and detailed JSON view. So it, this product has a lot of uh, you know good features here. You can open multiple files within the same window. And our products are uh, supporting most of the lines of business uh, in PNC. So you see all the data here. You can open multiple windows as I already shown. You can search also, like if you want to search, if you want to search uh, driver here, you, you will get only those results which have driver DRV group. You see all the driver training indicator, driver relationship to applicant, driver marital status code. And if you want to search for uh, like uh, driver, uh, for example, I mean, you can search on uh, multiple on 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 uh, multiple words also. Like here, let me search on governing driver, governing driver, and I search on this. So in this case, I will get only the governing driver row. So you can search on multiple words also. So in this way, this is another product that may be useful for you. So I hope this demo is helpful. We are available for assistance on our email ID contact at the redwinsuretech.com. And we will also like to share with you that AL3 data, if you want to map it to your CRM or your agency management system, we can help because we have a, a large team of developers who are uh, and uh, business analysts who are comfortable with the PNC insurance standards and their elements and their meaning and how they can be mapped to your data your system so we can help with that as well of course that is not covered in the price of the product but we can extend those services to you and uh, apart from that we also are working on we have al3 creator already uh, similar to al3 parser which can convert json to al3 files so that product is also available and uh, we also have another product which can help you to fill accord forms in the browser so these things uh, are there and we are trying continuously working on them making them better and converting them to rest apis also so that it could be easier for you to use them hope it helps thank you very much